Hello everyone, welcome to Design Fun. Today I am participating in a collaboration started by Catherine. I'm sure you're all familiar with her. She's a very, very talented DIYer. But this collaboration is for a furniture makeover. So I'm going to show you how I made over this into a kitchen island. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use two types of paint. I'm going to use this white chalk paint that I got from Walmart for the body of the island. And then for the top, I'm going to use General Finishes Java Gel Stain. This stuff is amazing. And with these two items, I do not have to sand or prep this surface at all. I can just start working. And I'm going to be using this chalk paint brush. This is a really good high quality brush that I got from Walmart and it works great with chalk paint. For the gel java stain, you'll see later on that I'm just going to use a rag. Okay, I'm going to load my brush up really, really well to get started. And I like putting it into um, a cup so that I can just kind of dab in and out as I need and I can move around with it. So I'm just going to start at the top of the island because like I said I'm going to make the bottom piece white and then the top I'm going to put the gel java stain on the top and I'm just going to work with the grain this is the way I do it I don't know how the professionals do it but the way I do it and I I've, I've probably chalk painted at least eight or nine pieces already um, I just go back and forth I keep the brush loaded and I go back and forth and I don't end up with any brush strokes in the end if I see anything drip, I'm going to keep um, a pitcher of water and some paper towels right next to me so that I can wipe up the drips um, because you don't want the drips to actually uh, dry into the piece because then you have to sand it out. So to keep up with that, I just keep water next to me with paper towels. And I'm just going to go in, um, I'm, I'm going to do the legs one by one, just taking my time and then I'll do the very... Uh, bottom of the island last and the legs are a little bit tricky because they have this curved detail to them so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to use a, a small paintbrush to get in the grooves um, I didn't show that on camera but when I get done completely painting all the areas that I can get to with the large brush. I'm going to take a small painter's brush and just get in the grooves. And for chalk paint, I almost always have to use two coats. So this is what it looks like with the first coat applied. I know it looks scary right now, but by the time you put on your second coat, it's going to be great. Um, so what I do in between coats is I always put my paintbrush inside of a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag so that the paint doesn't dry out. Now this top, you see how horrible this top looks? If I wasn't using the gel java stain, I probably would have to sand this down really, really well before getting started. But with this java stain, the general finishes stain, I don't have to do that. I just use a rag. Um, if you do this, make sure whatever rag or paintbrush that you're using to apply the, the general finishes stain is something that you can throw away because when you get done with whatever you use to apply it with, you won't be able to reuse it. So I'm just using an old washcloth to apply it. And then to go around the edges, I'm just going to use one of those one of those throwaway brushes that I got from the Dollar Tree. So um, I found that if you you just can't reuse anything that you apply it with, this stuff is almost like it's it's so um, it's almost like glue. Once you put it on, there's no coming off. So, and I absolutely love using it because there's no prep work required. So I, yeah, so I just keep dipping it in. It doesn't require a whole lot. Um, so I'll dip it in and then I'll just wipe it across and then uh, until it gets to the color that I want. Um, usually I do two coats of this. If I want it really, really dark, I'll go into three or four coats. Um, I'm gonna actually use this in my kitchen to do all of my cabinets. And I will be taking you guys along with me in that process. I've been in this house for two years now, over two years. 
and I have not touched the kitchen. So this is going to be the beginning of my kitchen makeover. And I'm definitely taking you guys along the way with me. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm not showing it on camera, but I'm, I'm going to take one of those throwaway brushes and just kind of go along the edge because I don't want anything to get on the white part. So this is what it looks like after the second coat of white. And then I have also put on another coat of the general, uh, general finishes stain on the top. And I love the way this looks. Now I have to put in a new knob. I got a knob from uh, Target that I'm going to put in there and you'll see that in a moment. Now to protect my work, um, I can use um, sealing wax, the chalk paint sealing wax, but I want this to have some somewhat of a shine to it and since it's going to be in the kitchen, I wanted a really sturdy uh, top coat on it. So I'm actually using this uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra, Color, Ultra Cover in gloss it's a clear gloss and it dries um, it dries with a very very glossy finish and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up and I'll show you the finished product okay guys so this is the finished product it's in my kitchen I absolutely love my new island um, on the side here, I did install a paper towel holder. I got this one from Walmart and it, it was just two screws to install it on the side, but I'm actually using it for my dish towels. Then up underneath, I installed this uh, stemware holder so that I can put my wine glass up, on, up underneath it. And I absolutely love being able to do that. Um, eventually I'm going to put a wine rack at the very bottom as well so I can put wine bottles at the bottom. So I love the way this came out. The details on the front, these are actually um, these furniture plaques that I got from Joann's and I just used some liquid nails and I applied it to the very front. They already come in white and I inserted my new knob and this is the finished product. And this is just me playing around with some decor on the top. But for the most part, I will keep a bowl of fruit on the top. But right now, I would like to thank you all for watching. I want to thank Catherine for inviting me to the collaboration. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.